This has to be as entertaining a ball game as we have seen in years. Both of these teams have fought so hard, made one big play after another. And now Virginia Tech will be called on to make more. They're down by four points, 2.51 to go in the game. Wyclaw to kick it away for Miami. His last one went out of bounds. Wilson and Gregory to return. Wilson from the two. One just straight ahead to the 23. Virginia Tech will start from there. Jed Fish, offensive coordinator, again going with the big bodies. You see the big bodies and the way they're going to kick down and block out. This is total domination against the Virginia Tech the defense that's tired. In this half, 28 plays by Miami, averaging 14.4 per play. They decimated Virginia Tech's defense. 146 yards in the second half for Lamar Miller. And if you're tired and Lamar, Lamar Miller is running the ball for the other team, you're in trouble. But keep in mind, Logan Thomas in this game, 20 of 22 in passing. He's been red hot. Completes this one to Cole up to the 39-yard line. Danny Cole at reliable wideout. No reason for a sense of urgency here. Plenty of time. Make sure you get your play call, get your line ready, and recognize who they're going to block. Yeah, oodles of time. 235 with four timeouts. Good protection again. The pass for the first down and out of bounds goes Marcus Davis. Logan Thomas told us he had to avoid happy feet, not see the rush, feel the rush, and be able to look downfield and make the throws. Boy, has he done it today. He's had happy feet, all right. <laughs> Now, now, don't forget, in the backfield, David Wilson, a guy who can take it the distance at any moment. So, run the ball, plenty of time to sneak a running play in there. 305 yards passing. That is a career high for Logan Thomas. Trying to build his own legend, taking over for Tyrod Taylor. Swings it out in the flat. Wilson. Got what he could, knocked out of bounds. That's like a swing pass. That's a, I mean, a, a toss sweep. Yeah. That's a good high percentage throw. Getting in the playmaker's hand. David Wilson, like Lamar, one of those guys that can just go the distance every time he touches the football. Absolutely. Well, they came in number seven and number eight in the country in rushing, separated by only two one hundredths of a yard on an average game. Throughout this game, Miami has opted to rush four for the most part. We'll see if they change that up. They have not generated any pressure unless they brought more than that. Wilson, first down and more. Still on his feet, knocked out of bounds inside the 30. There's that run that's going to allow the passing game to continue for Virginia Tech and to prohibit them from having to panic. They've got Wilson just get the ball in his hands. That helps this play action if they come up with it. He has rushed for 121 yards. Put these teams together. We have had 950 yards in total offense against two defenses that have traditionally been very proud. Wilson inside the 25 Denzel Perriman made the tackle Virginia Tech will use one of its timeouts they'll have two left there's still plenty of time on the clock 142 for those concerned about scoring too quickly I wouldn't be worried about that just get it across the goal line you got to score you'd love to score one second left but you don't have that choice most of the time Quarterback keeper Thomas. And they're going to be ripping at that football. Sean Spence led the charge. You call a timeout for that? That's not a good call. I mean, David Wilson's your guy. You don't pull the ball from his stomach. You put the ball in four's hands. Obviously, four down territory. Third and three here. Wilson. 
struggling forward inside the 20. They have to get to the 18-yard line. Crowd didn't like that call either. Those two, those option reads have not been their big plays today. No, they have not, but they're at least trying to get the first down so that they're going to get the chains moved, gets the timeout, and gives them a breather. So now that forced Beamer to use another timeout. But you've got to have a way, if you do the quarterback sneak, and they're not going to do that because he's in the shotgun. Do or die, they have to get to the 18-yard line to keep this drive and the game alive. Thomas, quarterback, keeper. Holy cow, touchdown. Can you believe this? Everybody on defense went with David Wilson. And why not? And the quarterback pulls it out and keeps it. Man, oh, man. Thirty seven thirty five the all important extra point which makes it a three point lead because Miami still has time left. Thirty eight thirty five. Fifty six seconds all their timeouts left. So that's a lot of time for Jacory Harris. When you watch this replay it's very important to notice the difference in the success of this play. It started with the mesh of the quarterback and Wilson. Watch how the separation occurs between the two of them. Thomas lets him get further down which spread the defense out. They lost gap integrity. That's been a problem for this Miami defense this year. Good job blocking by Virginia Tech's offensive line. Big Greg Nosel coming around 75 doing his job and opening the hole up in there. But what, <laughs> and the way this thing's been going, Miami and Ja'Cory Harris have plenty of time. That was a huge hole right up the middle. And that time, that was a great read by the quarterback. It, it was just more patient. Yes. You know what? David Wilson's got to keep going hard because when he goes hard, that opened that defense up. It made him challenge him and chase him to the outside. Just listen to this. Believe it or not, there has never been an overtime game at Lane Stadium. We're staring one in the face right now. Benjamin and Miller are deep. Benjamin on the hop. Got a couple of blocks to the 25, 27, still going. Out of bounds near the 30. 47 seconds to go. But Miami has all their timeouts and the knowledge that they haven't been stopped the entire second half. Five for five on long touchdown drives and even overcame 25 yards of penalties back to back in the red zone on the previous one. So with a big strike ability, of running back Lamar Miller, the run is not out of the question. They've been gashing Virginia Tech's defensive line. Miller has gained 166 yards today. But now it's going to be up to Ja'Cory Harris. All day to throw, can't find anybody. And that's incomplete. Intended for Miller. Good coverage by Taylor, the linebacker. Yeah, you remember early in this football game, first drive of this game, Al Golden and Miami went down the field, had a fake field goal. Oh, yeah. And it was stopped. This crowd is going crazy. Harris with the out complete to Hearns. It'd be third and short. Mike, here's what we're talking about. First drive of the game. The fake field goal decision. Virginia Tech stopped and turned it away. Virginia Tech then went down the field to pick up seven right away. 
That's three points. Well, they obviously like the play call when they made it then, but looking back, wouldn't you love to have the three right now? Well, you've got three timeouts. Third and three for Harris. James. First down, that'll stop the clock at the 45 with 25 seconds to go. They burned a lot of time to get that, that first first down on this drive. Yeah, but you call timeout right now because you don't want to waste anything. Every second is precious. Miami. 25 seconds and two timeouts to work with for Ja'Cory Harris. The red line is where they're trying to get to that would give them a reasonable shot of a field goal. Harris burning a lot of time here being pressured, throws to the sideline and throws it away. Down to 19 seconds. Miami, with their two timeouts, needs to throw something to the middle of the field. The corners at Virginia Tech have been really good for the most part. They went and missed one earlier that cost them, but these are really talented corners. I'd get to the middle of the field. Especially in the hands either of number three, Benjamin, or number six, Miller. Miller's wide, high to the top of the field. Benjamin's in motion. Three-man rush. They'll drop eight. Harris deep down the middle and overthrown. That was intended for touchdown Tommy Streeter, but the ball well overthrown. Now 14 seconds left. That kind of play, though, to the middle of the field, and if you get tackled at the 30, you've got a chance. You call time and Absolutely. you at least give yourself a shot. That's where this play needs to go. And they got two more shots at that play to get that yardage. And, and with the timeouts, you stop the clock, get your field goal team on, you got a crack at the first overtime game ever at Lane Stadium. Harris up for grabs, incomplete. Right in the arms of Eddie Whitley and Tommy Streeter turned defensive back and knocked it out of his hands at the last moment. Just a smart job of Bud Foster dropping seven in coverage and having a spy in the middle of the field. Now you've got a problem. Yeah. Five seconds left. That, that defensive strategy forced the long ball, which ate up the clock, and now has not given you a chance to catch one over the middle or to get out of bounds and call timeout. Now Miami wants to talk about it. Several of these pass plays in this last possession. The first one took 11 seconds off the clock. 11 seconds have resulted in incompletion. They have not managed the clock very well, but you, you can say that to Ja'Cory Harris, but if he can't find anybody open, he can't find anybody open. Let me tell you what has become open. This crowd, that makes the task of Al Golden and Ja'Cory Harris that much more difficult. You lose a little bit of your composure and your focus and understanding of the down and the distance in the game. At this point now, they've got, they cannot let the ball die inbound. Look at this. This is just spectacular. These people are losing their mind. This is beautiful. Virginia Tech has one defender waiting back at the 15-yard line. Harris throws it underneath, caught by Miller, trying to stay alive. The clock is at zero, and Miller is down. It's over. Alonzo Tweedy made the tackle, and Virginia Tech wins.
tell you what, if you like college football and you got to watch this whole game, what else could you conceivably ask for? It's one of the greatest games I ever saw. Frank Beamer has joined us. Frank, just your...